What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So, there was an interesting question proposed on Twitter today, and I wanted to kind of get y'all opinion on how y'all feel about Logan Paul's title reign so far. And I asked this question. I retweeted the original tweet, and I'm going to show y'all. And I'm going to be reading some of y'all's uh, opinions on Logan's Paul, Logan Paul's title reign so far. So I like doing these type of videos of, you know, maybe asking a, a particular wrestling question on Twitter. And you guys uh, respond to it and give me your honest opinions. Or probably sometimes not truly honest opinions, just to, you know, kind of troll in the post or make fun of the situation some of y'all do that some of y'all are not serious but i think in this particular post i've seen a lot of people the stuff that i had seen y'all felt really passionate about your displeasure with logan paul's title reign so far as the united states champion so let me go ahead and pull this up all right so the original tweet was uh from wrestle ops Logan Paul is now the third longest reigning United States champion under the WWE banner, which is really crazy when you think about it. Um, his um, title reign so far is 261 days, only two title defenses, the seventh longest overall in history. So right now he has the third longest reigning United States champion uh, under the WWE banner, but he has the seventh longest overall in, the, in history. 261 days, two title defenses. What's really surprising about that is the two title defenses. That's probably the the most alarming part. He's literally working like a Roman Reigns type schedule. But the only difference is when Roman Reigns first became the Universal Champion, if y'all remember, he was defending the championship every single pay-per-view. During the pandemic, he was defending it like every single pay-per-view. And then over time, it became less and less and less because, I mean, he was beating everybody. So it's understandable. But he's, Logan Paul's essentially doing that <laughs> without, he only had two title defenses when you really think about it. So that's kind of crazy in, in hindsight. So I decided to ask how y'all feel about this title reign so far. And I'm going to go through, obviously, some people have some opinions about it. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. <laughs> from, uh, this is what uh, someone else said. Good for marketing, but bad for the talent that could use a feud. Someone else, else said ass. I mean, it's fine. I realize uh, realize it for what it is and just enjoying the promos we get until LA night takes over. And I think a lot of people are, are at that point. Um, they're kind of waiting for LA night to ultimately and i hope they do this and i hope they pull the trigger it only makes sense for la knight to uh defeat logan paul at this year's SummerSlam, and that way we're able to you know get um la knight as the united states champion and obviously he will be defending it on a much regular basis so i think a lot of us are looking forward to that uh shane said it's pathetic and i find it humorous how hold on let me this it's pathetic i find it humorous how people complained about how roman barely defended his title yet we have this clown show only defending it twice this year roman clears logan paul when it comes to title defenses he needs to lose the la night we need it we need a deserving champ amazing um trash to be honest one of the three bad current reigns in the company uh board nothing but a paper champion wwe just trying to get a different fan base the lack of title defenses already make it one of the weakest united u.s title reigns not memorable at all his uh title reign will only only going to be remembered because it will be la knight's first title in wwe if they let him win that's a very interesting one blackie chan uh hope he drops it to la knight yeah um see what useless this. get that <laughs> out you are useless. Get <laughs> Don't like it at all. He doesn't even defend the title. This is a funny you are clip. Useless. Get the f out. You are <laughs> useless. I love Get it. the f out. I love that you clip. I love that man. Um, I love Logan as a talent, but this doesn't sit well with me. And having him have two title de uh, defenses so far, it could be better if he defended it more. And I think a lot of people's criticism is him not defending it as much. He hasn't. And I think that's a fair criticism. I, I don't think anyone, you know, should be mad about that. Like he he hasn't defended the title as much. So I, I, I do think it's one of those things where, you know, 
if he hasn't defended the title as much, he, you know, essentially shouldn't be, you know, the a long reigning champion, some would say. But I get it. It's it's more on the marketing side with him being associated with Prime and stuff like that. So I get it, but I also understand that you rarely see the United States Championship, so <laughs> not trash. <laughs> uh it's been mid, but really don't mind it because Logan is a great heel. And and I think that's what some people kind of give him a pass on because he's such a good heel. Like people will give him the pass on the title reign not being that memorable because he's a good heel and he he's really good in the ring, better than anyone else expected. So some people will give him the pass on that. But still, when you really think about it in hindsight, will anybody remember this title reign? That's a title reign that you would consider good by some people's metrics or a lot of people's metrics, however you look at it, is it memorable? Will you remember it? I don't think too many people will remember it as much, only that he was the champion, but not because he had so many classic matches because he barely defended it. Um, CM Dunk said mid. Let's see what this is. I just, I wish I gave a fuck. I just. I <laughs> his character in ring work is good, but as for his title reign, there we go. Uh, what he's done with the title has been great TV, but it, the issue is he doesn't show up on TV. There we go. Underwhelming. He's been marketing. He's been marketing the WWE and being a brand ambassador, but he's only defended the belts twice, and neither time really felt like he lose it to uh, lose it. So it's been a C for me in terms of feud and in ring product. That's a fair point. Cody Rose said he needs to take the business a little bit more seriously, and the rain was proof of it. To be honest, in my opinion, I don't think he needs to be hyped or boost boosted that much because he isn't on any roman or brock level to be praised that much for not defending as much while still counting days i like him as champ don't get me wrong but i knew but i knew this uh this you know i think what he's trying to say is because roman and brock they had been already established superstars and you know the story they were trying to tell with them is less is more which essentially worked sometimes it would get you know with roman it definitely started getting a little bit frustrating because you you wanted to see him more but you get it you 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 still understand it he's beating damn near everybody in the roster the same thing what they did with brock or redacted how you ever you want to call him you know he was this this fighting champion that not everybody was going to fight you know what i'm saying they were only going to put him in matches with you know like big time money for you so you weren't gonna see him much anyway so and the thing with logan is yes he's great in the ring great promo great heel but he hadn't gotten to that point where it made sense for him to not be defending the title more regularly so but i think it's whatever they whatever type of contract they've really worked out with him you know obviously it's it's benefited him a lot so We'll see, but most likely, I think his title reign is coming to an end at SummerSlam. Uh, SummerSlam. Good title reign. Only problem is that he's a part-time champion. <laughs> absolute ass. It's supposed to be absolute cinema. Uh, it's fine, honestly. People, as usual, expect more title defenses, but I don't equate title reigns to how many times they defend it. Here's the thing about that. If you've only defended it twice, but he had a 200-plus day title reign, that that's different i don't know about that and what like, like i said in the cases of brock and roman they have already built themselves up as people that not just gonna be fighting every week or every month so you understood that they kind of already put in the groundwork you know earlier in their career where they were fighting every single pay-per-view and when they did win the championship they were fighting all the time Logan just recently got into the WWE a few years ago, so he hadn't even had a chance to even put in that that extra grind and that extra work to work towards to have that ability where it would make sense for someone like a Brock and a Roman to not be defending the title all the time in comparison to someone that just got the WWE, just got a you know a a, a, a WWE championship in the United States championship and barely have done anything with it. Defending it wise, you can see why people have a gripe about that. Um, 
What title reign? It pisses me off that they gave him a Roman schedule when he did nothing for the industry. I just said that. Uh, he has good matches, sure. But other than that, he doesn't do much for wrestling. Uh, he is okay. United States champion, not the best, just okay. It's been boring. I remember when John Cena kept it interesting with the U.S. title having opening challenges on Monday Night Raw. Gar uh, Garbaggio. <laughs> I like his title reign, but he needs to show up more. Been cool to me. Hate the, that Ricochet isn't going to be able to win it, though, after the build with him and Samantha, which I was hoping they would do something with that. Him and Samantha should have been able to get a payoff for that. I was hoping that was happening. Mid, but it would be better if they booked him to have more matches defending the title. He has more matches going after others' titles than actually defending his, but his matches are still good, though. That's a interesting, uh, interesting point there. Basically, ass. <laughs> that's all i can get from that mid he is a fantastic heel him refusing to defend is constantly constantly does make uh does make sense in a certain in certain scenarios he does put on good matches but there are two a uh, little defenses in uh x amount of days which kind of ruins it meh you know shit emoji disappointing yes. <laughs> love that clip honestly shouldn't have reached 200 days for real hopefully it ends at SummerSlam. ain't nothing to feel bro had two defenses mid some great matches just wish bro finished championship more often and i guess this is pretty much the general gist of what y'all were saying i don't like him but i can't lie him holding the title has brought over some eyes to wwe but it's time to drop it my man two defenses is absolutely wild good wrestler just the run he's having is very draining and dry not good i can't even remember last time he defended the belt i feel good about it heel champion shouldn't be expected to defend every pay-per-view yes this is true but two out of 200 plus days it's kind of wild it's definitely kind of wild I like Logan as a heel, but he needs to drop the title to LA Knight because he's not defending his titles. What title reign? It sucks. I'd say it's the worst than Austin Theory's reign with the title. Really hope LA Knight wins it. Some say the title deserves better. As far as the U.S. title goes, it's not the worst. Uh, what has he even done, bro? Uh, took more vacation than Roman, and Roman actually put in the work and deserved vacations. Logan just got here and already not coming to work. Great for marketing, but when guys like LA Knight have no title, it's a little disappointing. Marketing wise, good, but for feuds on and the SmackDown brand, bad. And I guess this is the general uh, consensus. I'll read this last one. While I'm impressed by his performance as a wrestler, him holding that title with little pres uh with little presence, uh, he has just devalues it, in my opinion. I understand that uh he's more uh more so an attraction, but him having the title doesn't add more value to to that. It just holds back the upcoming stars, upcoming superstars. This was pretty much everyone was in agreement that this title reign has been mid to boring, essentially non-existent. A lot of people saying they can appreciate his talent in the ring and they like what he does as a heel, you know, his heel character. They enjoy that. They enjoy his matches. He's just not there. So it makes no sense to hold, have him hold the belt. Even though a lot of people understand why, for marketing purposes, they get it. But at the same time, they're like, nah, it's cool, but he needs to drop it. And the general consensus is hopefully LA Knight wins it. So that's what a lot of y'all are saying. A lot of y'all are saying, yeah, he's great wrestler, great heel, just shouldn't be the champion no more. It's 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 ran past his course. So y'all in the comments, y'all let me know how have y'all felt about Logan Paul's title reign, US title reign so far. Have you enjoyed it? Have you not enjoyed it? And are you ready for him to potentially drop it at SummerSlam against LA night. Y'all let me know down below. Appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.